Hi friends, welcome back to Mendrix Max channel. Today we are going to discuss the cross multiplication method that used to find the solution of a pair of linear equation in two variables. In previous videos we have discussed the two other methods that is algebraic method used to find the linear equation in two variables. In previous two videos we have discussed how to find the solution of linear equation in two variables by graph as well as by the algebraic methods. Then we are to other methods we have discussed. We have discussed substitution method, elimination method. Now we are going to discuss the cross multiplication method that used to find the solution of linear equation in two variables. If you haven't so far watched the channel that is previous videos, don't worry, I will give the link in the description box. Okay, now let's continue with our method that is cross multiplication method. Now let's discuss the cross multiplication method that used to find the solutions for the linear equation in two variables. First of all, we all know that pair of linear equations. Here, here I give on one pair of linear equation and this is the second pair of linear equation. We all know the coefficient of x and y. Here, which is a coefficient of x, here the coefficient of x is a1 and here the coefficient of x is a2. What is the coefficient of y? The coefficient of y is b1 and here b2. And coefficient constant term that is c1 and c2. Now, what you have to do? You have to write the coefficient of y first. Okay, start from the coefficient of y and ends in the coefficient of y. Here, which is the coefficient of y? This coefficient of y is b1 and b2. Okay, now we have written that one coefficient of y. Next, which is the coefficient? Next, start like this, okay. Next year here from started from here and like this way you have to go b1 b2 next c1 c2 then again come back here what is the coefficient of x that is a1 a2 then again here we have to start from the coefficient of y and also we have to end in coefficient of y here b1 b2 now just look what are we have written we have written the coefficients of x y and constant terms we have started from the coefficient of y and ends in the coefficient of y now what do you have to do now just look okay here we have to multiply this one as like by the arrow indicated that is b1 c2 here b2 c1 here we are representing through the arrows there are four working rules. So, I am just giving a short hint. Okay. Here B1 into C2. What you have going to do is here. This is what we are doing. Here in cross multiplication, there exists a fraction that is x by. We all know that. What is the fraction form? That is x by 4. Here numerator is x. Okay. That one we have written. Here, then what will be the denominator here? Here we have to find out the denominator. That denominator is here. B1 into C2, B2, C1. Here what we are doing here is, just now, just look, listen here. B1, C2, B2, C1. We have to multiply like this. First, the upper coefficient to the lower co the coefficient of the nearby terms and here also like this and here like this and like this now what you have to do is this is the denominator of x and this two is the denominator of y and this is the denominator of constant so constant we are writing one now here what you have to do we have to multiply this one b1 into c2 downward and after that here what we have the steps we adopted here first we have arranged the coefficient of y constant and x in here that what you have done that started from the left to top to right bottom that is then what you have done we have migrate them and marked closed arrows from left top to right bottom 
Here then what is the here? This is the numerator and this is the denominator. Then what you have to do is in each denominator multiply the number indicated by their arrows and after that what you have to do first multiply the numbers that is coefficient indicated by the arrowhead. Next what you have to do is subtract the product of upward arrow from the downward arrows. Here what you will get first just look here. Here what you have to do is first the numerator is x. Then what we have to do we have to subtract the upward arrow from the downward arrows. Then which is the downward arrows here from means which number we have to write first that is the product of the number that indicated by the downward arrows. Here b1 c2 minus b2 c1. Here which is the downward that is c1 a2. This is the denominator of y variable that is c1 a2 minus c2 a1 and last and final which is the denominator of coefficient that is a1 b2 minus b1 a2 here what you have to do is first the numerator is x then what we have to do we have to subtract the upward arrow from the downward arrows then which is the downward arrows here from means which number we have to write first that is the product of the number that indicated by the downward arrows. Here b1 c2 minus b2 c1. Here which is the downward that is c1 a2. This is the denominator of y variable that is c1 a2 minus c2 a1. And last and final which is the denominator of coefficient. The denominator of the constant term is that is a1 b2 minus b1 a2. Okay, here I given this hint for the clarification and for the better understanding of you. Okay, here first what we have done, we have started from the coefficient of y and it's in the coefficient of y. Here this is the arrow indications for the multiplication for the numbers that is coefficient of the x and y terms. They have given the separate same things. Now just look at here. Here I given the separate things. What is the denominator of x under b1? Denominator of x is b1, c2, b2, c1. Here c1, c2, a1, a2, a1, a2, b1, b2. So what I have told you? Then we have to write x1 and multiply the products. That is arrow indicated. The multiply the upper arrow indicated, the numbers and the downward arrow indicated. Then after that, what you have to do? We have to subtract the upward arrow indicated product from the downward product of downward indicated arrow. That is B1 C2 minus B2 C1. Then which is the variables under Y? y equal to c1 a2 minus c2 a1 which is equal to 1 by 1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. This is how we have written. Next what you have to do is we have to equate this one. Find the value of, we have to find the value of xy. This is the cross multiplication method that is adapted only for, y, uh, for finding the variables that is value of the x and y. Here we are finding the solution of the linear pair of the equation. So at last what you have to do is find the value of x by equating which is the first term here. This is first term, second term and third term third expression. So first expression, second expression, third expression. Now how we are finding the value of x? Find the value of x by equating the first and third expression. That is how we are finding x by p1 c2 minus b2 c1 equal to 1 by a1 p2 minus a2 b1 and how we are finding the expression or the variable value of y variable value of y by equating y is equal to c1 a2 minus c2 a1 equal to 1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. This is how we are finding the values. Here what you have to do is equate the first expressions with third expression and 
second expressions with third expression so that when you equate the first expression with third expression you will get the value of x and when you equate the second expressions with third expression you will get the value of y this is how we are finding the solutions for x and y of the pair of linear equation to variables by the cross multiplication method here this method is easy if you have listened carefully so only we are doing is what first of all start with the coefficient of y and insert the coefficient of y and only we are doing this one now for the more clarification for the better understanding let's do it by the mathematical problem so let's me give you a question so that you will understand more clearly and you will be able to do the problems more accurately here the question is solve the following system of equation by cross multiplication which is the question here which is the pair of linear equation given here here 2x plus 3y plus 8 equal to 0 4x plus 5y plus 14 equal to 0 whenever you get a question what you have to do when you are writing the answers rewrite the things whatever given in the question what is given in the question here only thing given is the pair of linear equation so right start with the given things so when you are writing like this write solution for the question after that what you have to write write the given things 2x plus 3y plus 8 equal to 0 4x plus 5y Plus fourteen equal to zero. Here, which method is given? Here, we have to find the pair solution by cross multiplication method. Cross multiplication method. What you have to do? I have already given you. We have to start with the coefficient of y. So the coefficient of y here. The coefficient of y is three, five. Here, eight, fourteen, two, four, three, y. we have started with the coefficient of y that is 3 5 coefficient of constant that is 8 14 coefficient of y that is x 2 4 and coefficient of y 3 5 now what you have to do we have to multiply that is first number by the second number of the second expression here like this do it by the arrow expression so that you will not get confused over the problems okay when you are getting when you mark like this you won't get any confusion while writing the problems or while writing the steps but if you are not indicating means you will feel difficult and you will forget the methods okay now what you have to do here we all know that we are doing only this by the indication for the variable for the solution of x and y here which numbers comes under the denominator of x x comes which is a denominator that is 3 14 8 50 2 like this way okay here when you are writing like this here like this too 3 into 14 minus 8 into 5 or 5 into 8 that's okay okay next which is a second expression that is y which all the comes under the expression of y these two terms this one x terms this y and this constant expression that which is the y terms which is the number comes under the y denominators that is 8 into 4 minus 14 into 2 and which is the constant that is 1 by 2 into 5 minus 4 into 3 now what you have to do find the product of this that is x by 3 into 14 what is the answer 3 into 14 what is the answer 3 into 14 is equal to 42 minus 8 into 5s are 40 equal to y y what the other denominators comes under y 8 into 4 equal to 32 14 into 2 what is that 14 into 2 is 14 into 2 is 28 then next is 1 by 2 into 5 sir 10 and 4 into 3 10 minus 
12. So these are the things. Now what you have to do? We have to subtract 42 minus 40. What is the answer? 42 minus 40 is 2. 32 minus 28 is 4. And 10 minus 2 is 10 minus 12. That is minus 2. Okay, we can write that. Here we can write x by 42 minus 40 means 2 equal to 5 by 32 minus 28. What is the answer? 32 by 20, 32 minus 28 is 4 which is equal to 1 by 10 minus 12 that is 1 by minus 2. Then how we are finding the solution for the now we go up to this much. Then how up to this much we have done as per the working rules. And next which is the last part we have to get last part is we have to find the solution for the x and y variable how we are finding we have can find the solution of x by equating first expression by the third expression so just equate that x by 2 equal to 1 by minus 2 to that here when you are getting like this means what you have to do? We have to cross multiply this. Here cross multiplication means x into minus 2 and 2 into 1. 2 like that. Okay. So x into minus 2 means minus 2x equal to 2. 2 into 1, 2. Then minus x is equal to 2 by 2 and x is equal to minus 2. 1. This is the answer for this expression that is solution for x. That is minus x is equal to 2 by 2. 2 by 2 means 1 and x is equal to minus 1. So this is the solutions for the variable x. Next what you have to do? We have to find the solutions for the variable y. y by 4 equal to 1 by minus 2. Here how we are finding? Here we have to create the second term by third expression y by 4 is equal to 1 by 2. See, we have to follow the step that we applied on x. Here, y cross multiplication. How we are finding this? Minus 2y equal to 4. Then y equal to minus y is equal to 4 by minus 2, which is equal to 4 by minus 2 is 4 by 2 is what is the answer? That is 2. Then y equal to minus 2. This is the expression. So what we got the value? x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 2. This is the solutions for the expression of the pair of linear equation given. Now just look at the charts that we have applied it and we have written so that if you have any confusions or any doubts regarding the step means you can comment on the comment box. The second questions, the questions for the cross multiplication method. Here, the, we have to adopt cross multiplications for this question also. The question is 2x plus y minus 35 equal to 0. 3x plus 4y minus 65 equal to 0. So first when you get a question what you have to do? You have to write three, write the given things in the answer sheets. Okay, now let's write like that, okay solution so which is the solutions for this first rewrite the given things that is 2x plus y minus 35 equal to 0 3x plus 4y minus 65 equal to 0 then what you have to do we have to write the coefficient of y started from y and it's also in y here what is the coefficient of y 1 4 here what is this? Minus 35 minus 65, 2, 3, again 1, 4. Then what you have to do? We have to cross multiply that. 1 by C minus 65, here this and here like this. Everything you can mark like this. After that what you have to do? You have to equate them. Here x by, this all comes under x, x by here 1 into minus 65 minus that is we have to subtract the upper arrow headed products from the downward arrow headed. Here 1 into minus 65 minus 4 into minus 35 equal to y 
by minus 35 into 3 minus minus 65 into 2 equal to 1 by 2 into 4 minus 3 into 1. Now you can write like this again x by 1 into minus 65 what is the answer that is minus 65. Again, what is that? That is minus 4 into minus 35. Minus 4 into minus 35 means here 2 number also negative. That is negative into negative. That is product of 2 negative number is positive number. So, minus 4 into minus 35. What is the answer? Minus 4 into minus 35 is equal to plus 140. Again, equal to 5. That is y by minus 35 into 3. What is the answer? Minus 35 into 3. That is equal to 105. That is minus 105 minus 35 into 3 minus 105. Next is minus into minus. Where would happen? Minus into minus means that is product of two numbers. That is plus. Plus 65 into 30 is 65 into 2 is 130. You can write like that. Again 1 by 2 into 4 8 minus 3. Then what you have to do? You have to subtract like this. X by minus 65 plus 140. What do you get the answer? 65 that is 140 minus 65. You will get the answer 75. Here what is the which is the Simple for the greatest number, when number one number is negative and one number is positive, what you have to do? You have to subtract and put the simple of the greatest integer. Here, which is the greatest number that is 140. Here, the small number is 65. So, we have to put plus simple. X by 75 equal to Y by 130 minus 105. What is the answer? That is 25 x by 75 equal to y by 25 equal to 1 by 8 minus 3 equal to 5. This is the S1. Then now what you have to do? We have to equate the first expressions with the third expression for getting the value of x. Do that. So first expression is x by 75 equal to 1 by 5. So what you have to do here when you get like this expressions means we have to cross multiply that. X by 5. What is that? X into 5 is equal to 5x is equal to 75. Then what is x? X is equal to 75 divided by 5. What you will get the answer? That is either we will get the answer as 15. That is x is equal to 15. Then what do you have to do for the uh, expression that is for, for the solution of y? y by 25 that is x plus the equate the second expressions with third expression that is y by 25 is equal to 1 by 5. Again to same procedures as we have done in x. Here what is the answer? 5y equal to 25 and y is equal to 25 divided by 5 which is equal to so, what do you get? Here we get x is equal to 15 and y is equal to 5. This is the solutions for the linear pair of equation. Now, just please go through the steps and verify. And if you have any doubts, means you can. I hope you have enjoyed in learning the cross multiplication method to find the solution of linear equation in two variables by the algebraic method. That is a third method for finding the solutions for linear pair of equation. If you have enjoyed, please make thumbs up to my channel and share it with your friends and relatives. And if you haven't so far subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe my channel and which is absolutely free. Thank you.